I rise to address the serious issue of indoctrination in our schools. As Shadow Minister for Education, as I have said repeatedly, the classroom is for education, not indoctrination, not activism. There is a real and very proper basis to be concerned about the extreme left ideologues who think it's okay to prosecute their own agendas in our schools. It is not okay. The job of our schools is to teach, to ensure children reach their very best potential. With one in three Australian students failing NAPLAN, Australian parents and teachers deserve to know whether the government has any plan to combat declining school standards. A report released today by Learning First details major gaps in the Australian science curriculum. Australia is 70th worst when it comes to managing classroom disruption. No reflection on our great teachers because our teachers are fundamentally being let down by universities which are leaving student teachers woefully unprepared to teach in the classroom. Only a handful of schools have adopted best practice teaching methods in literacy and numeracy. So I say, what is the government's plan to fix our schools? Regrettably, all we have heard about from this government is talk of reviews and not much more. The review to support the next national school reform agreement was handed to the government on the 31st of October. But why is this being kept secret? We attempted to secure an order for the production of this document here in the Senate, which very disappointingly was not supported by the Greens so much for their focus on transparency. So I say to schools around this country, please focus on the fundamentals. And it is regrettable that we have seen the activists encourage so many students to participate in these school strikes for Palestine. This is deeply regrettable and only causes further division in our community. Last week on the streets of Melbourne and Sydney, we saw students who skipped class to attend rallies where they were exposed to anti-Semitic chants and hateful signs which confirmed the worst fears of Jewish community leaders. School students may not even be aware that chants like from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, call for the destruction of Israel. Students should be in school and not be used as political pawns by activists, including the Greens and the Australian Education Union. And like Senator O'Neill, I express my deep deep concerns about Senator Faruqi standing next to that student protester holding that deeply offensive anti-Semitic sign, which was then posted on Senator Faruqi's social media account. And while she then took the photograph down from Instagram, uh, I have called on her to unconditionally apologise for the deep hurt and offence that she has caused to the Jewish community. Uh, it's deeply regrettable that Senator Faruqi has not provided that apology. I also condemn the AAU's Victorian branch for its teachers and school staff for Palestine Week of Action, which began today encouraging government schools to invite activists into the classroom. Even the Department of Education called this out and warned that while staff have the right to freedom of expression, this is subject to lawful restrictions such as protecting public order and respecting the rights and reputations of other persons. A wonderful Jewish school principal from Mount Scopus, Rabbi James Kennard, said this campaign crosses the line into anti-Semitism. It is grossly irresponsible. It puts the well-being of students at risk and because Teachers must comply with the Victorian Institute of Teaching's Code of Conduct, which requires teachers to maintain objective, objectivity and prohibit them from displaying bias. Uh, then it also puts the jobs of teachers at risk. This is another highly irresponsible campaign, and I call for the Education Minister, Jason Clare, to do everything to shut it down. Thank you.